Hello, and welcome to Spectrum Health. My colleagues and I are honored that you and your physician have chosen us to meet your nuclear medicine needs. Today, I will describe to you what occurs in the nuclear medicine department, show you some of our state-of-the-art technology, and help prepare you for your upcoming appointment with us. Nuclear medicine provides doctors with information about body structure and function. It is a way to gather medical information that would otherwise be unavailable, or require surgery, or more invasive diagnostic tests. Nuclear medicine serves two primary functions. First, it is used to create highly detailed images of the inside of your body. These images help identify normal and abnormal cells and help to diagnose disease. Second, nuclear medicine is used to treat disease that has already been diagnosed, such as thyroid disease and certain forms of cancer. Imaging and treatment procedures use very small amounts of radioactive materials called radiopharmaceuticals. During an imaging procedure, we capture precise images of a specific area inside the patient's body. First, we introduce radiopharmaceuticals into the patient. Radiopharmaceuticals are chemicals called isotopes and are highly specific for each patient and each procedure. In most cases, the isotope can be used only for one patient and one study. Because radiopharmaceuticals allow us to see and trace an organ or cell type, they are often referred to as tracers. The area to be studied will determine how tracers are introduced into the patient. For a bone scan, we will inject the tracer into a vein. For a lung scan, the patient will inhale and be injected with the tracer. For a thyroid or gastric test, the patient will swallow the tracer. If the procedure targets a particular body part, such as a breast or the skin, tracer will be injected directly into that area. Tracers are required for every procedure. For most tests, tracers are introduced on the day of the exam. For other tests, tracers may be introduced up to three days prior to the exam. After the tracer is introduced, a special imaging device called a gamma camera is positioned over the body part being examined. The camera must get very close to the patient's body to provide the best results. The camera sends information to computers, which generate very precise images. Spectrum Health uses several different models of gamma camera in its various nuclear medicine departments, but each camera performs the same function. Some of the cameras have additional CT capabilities that will further enhance the study. Spectrum Health operates nuclear medicine departments at various locations. Make sure you know where your appointment is scheduled. You may also receive instructions and parking information. On the day of your appointment, proceed to the registration desk in the radiology department. If you have difficulty finding it, any Spectrum Health employee will be glad to help you. When you check in, we will verify your information and let the technologist know that you have arrived. After you register, you may relax in our comfortable seating area. An employee from radiology will meet you in the seating area and escort you to the nuclear medicine department. For your safety, we will check your wrist identification and confirm personal information such as your name and date of birth. Some patients prefer to bring family member or friend with them to their appointment. If you do, you may discuss with a technologist whether anyone may accompany you to the exam room. Once you are in the nuclear medicine area, you may be asked to put on a hospital gown. Most likely, you will remain in the clothes you wore. For your comfort or to enhance imaging, you may be asked to use the restroom before your exam. We want you to be as comfortable as possible at all times during your exam. Blankets and cushions are available to improve your experience. The type of procedure your physician ordered will determine the length of your visit but it might be anywhere from 30 minutes to four hours. Also, please be aware that multiple visits may be required. Be aware that the type of equipment used during your exam may look different than this. We use a variety of gamma cameras at our various facilities, so your experience may differ somewhat from the one depicted here. After your procedure is complete, and you are ready to depart, an employee will escort you back to the waiting area and direct you to where you parked your car. We will ask whether you have any additional questions or concerns. Is there anything else? A nationally certified radiologist will review your study and send results to your physician within three to five business days. 
Your physician's office will contact you after he or she has reviewed your results. Thank you again for choosing Spectrum Health Nuclear Medicine. If you have any questions or concerns, or if there's anything we can do to make your visit more comfortable, please don't hesitate to ask. My colleagues and I are pleased and honored to serve you. For more information, visit our website or call the radiology department at the facility where your appointment is scheduled.